I ask myself, if I were an evil, twisted, misguided, egotistical supervillain, where would I put my secret fortress? Now that's a frog suit. Ideal for any amphibious occasion. A frog suit like this might come in handy, especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. It, it says, Timekeeper. May 26th. It says, shift change. I'd hate to see the wristwatch version of this thing. The time is now 6, 9. The time is now 6, 9. I wonder what this gadget does. It looks like something Quack would come up with. If this clock keeps striking like this, I'm going to strike back. It says, deck party, invitation only. What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see? Yes, I realize that. Are you involved in her business dealings? Only in the sense that, by being a doorman, I know who's who. What do you know about the sailor up on the SS Deadweight Bridge? All I know is that he dashes off the ship as soon as his shift ends. I've heard him muttering about happy hour. Happy hour at the cantina, no doubt. What do you know about Russian Blue, owner and operator of the opulent SS Deadweight? Ah, yes. I believe she has associations with Nectar of the Goats. Just as I suspected. What do you know about the sailor up there on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He's a persnickety one. All right. I recall seeing him in the cantina. Ugh! The cantina. The horror of the cantina. I didn't realize you're so touchy. Know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? Can you elaborate? Where do you think Russian Blue goes during the night? Whoa, Daddy O, that's it. Let me feel the music. All I hear are rumors anyway. Why not ask Russian Blue herself? That's an interesting idea. Thanks. Thank you. Next. Do you know the sailor from the SS Deadweight? Sure. I know the face. He's no ball of fire on the dance floor. Ask B, the unofficial island of Acidophilus, gossip. She'll know more about him. Okay, I'll do that. Tell me more about Russian Blue and her clandestine voyages on the SS Deadweight. I don't know much, but I sure wonder about the cargo on the SS Deadweight. Why would she sneak out to sea in the dead of night? That's a good question, B.
Do you know anything else about the sailor on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? Only that he likes the food here. He comes in here every day at 22 minutes after the start of happy hour. Imagine that. Yes, imagine that. What do you know about Russian Blue? Oh, she's upper crust. Very classy. On the surface, at least. I suspect she's in cahoots with William the Kid, but who am I to say? Interesting insight. Do you know anything about that sailor on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He guards that place as if his life depends on it. Oh, that guy's a weird one, all right. He's a regular at the cantina's happy hour. Hmm. Interesting. This seems to be some sort of a high-tech alarm clock. This could be helpful. After all, they say timing is everything. It says timekeeper. That's it. That's the sound the sailor told me indicates the end of his shift. Didn't you hear the clock? What are you still doing here? I know, I heard it. I could leave now if only my replacement was here. Unless you're the guy. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am your replacement. Consider yourself replaced. How can you be my relief if you're not wearing a sailor hat? Right. What was I thinking? Look, if you want to take off, I'll take the heat for not having the hat on. Are you crazy? They'll court-martial the both of us. And you know how embarrassing it is to have a marshaled court. You still haven't gotten your hat? Sorry, I'll work on it. You still haven't gotten your hat? Sorry, I'll work on it. Okay, you can go now. Thank you. Out of my way. Coming through. When you gotta go, you gotta go. That's curious. The SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out in the middle of the ocean. This particular spot could require some further investigation. Let's see. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to 45 degrees latitude, 60 degrees longitude, latitude, longitude, 10 degrees longitude, 5 degrees latitude, 30 degrees longitude, 25 degrees latitude, 85 degrees longitude, 45 degrees latitude, 60 degrees longitude. I ask myself, if I were an evil, twisted, misguided, egotistical supervillain, where would I put my secret fortress? I'd like to learn more about your line of work, Ms. Blue. I can't help but notice your lavish lifestyle. Yes, my lifestyle suits me, doesn't it? Only I am privy to the details of my business endeavors. You nosy fox, you. I have to say, you certainly have a unique conducting style. Thank you, sir. It runs in my family. My father was a train conductor. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy. What's the weather supposed to be like today? Smooth sailing on the surface and 100% of chance for humidity underwater. Okay, here we go. A good sea captain always likes to keep a ping pong set on board. In case the engines give out, you've got some extra paddles. <laughs> 